Oh yes, marketing and advertising. What typically comes to mind? Billboards, print ads, television ads, radio ads, Facebook ads. Now, while all of these are guaranteed to get us results if done correctly, we mustn't forget the less popular marketing initiatives that can also garner our business good results while keeping extra dollars in our pockets because they are budget friendly. In this video, I'm going to share with you five marketing and advertising ideas that are not only cost effective, but can also really pack a punch. Hi y'all, I'm Vivian Walton, the Season Marketer, and I share marketing tips, tools, and tactics with resourceful business owners. If you're new here, subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on Facebook because every week I release a new marketing video. And hey, if you guys want more marketing news and information outside of just these weekly videos, consider subscribing to my weekly email list. Every Thursday, I'll hit your inbox with even more information that could help you market and grow your business. So today I'm going to share with you five budget-friendly ideas for advertising your business that may not even be on your radar. As with anything else, I think that sometimes we naturally gravitate towards those bright and shiny options like billboards or television ads simply because that is what we associate traditional advertising and marketing with. And we don't even stop to think about the production cost involved or maybe even consider the less expensive options because, well, they simply aren't as exciting. Now, while these five advertising options that I'm sharing with you may not seem all that glamorous, they are in fact very effective and also very budget friendly. Budget-friendly option number one, hyper-targeted newsletters. Consider hyper-targeted newsletters. Homeowners associations typically send out monthly newsletters or e-newsletters to their respective neighborhoods or communities. A lot of times these HOAs will allow you to advertise in these newsletters simply because it's another way for them to raise funds for the HOA. Advertising space in these types of publications usually varies in size and also in pricing depending on the neighborhood and community that you're targeting. I will tell you that typically they are inexpensive though. I have actually done some um, advertising through some of these HOA newsletters for less than $100. So it was definitely well worth the investment to get eyes on my particular ad for that specific neighborhood. Budget-friendly option number two, Chamber of Commerce. Join your local Chamber of Commerce. Many, many moons ago, I actually used to work for a local Chamber of Commerce, and let me tell y'all, they are very serious about providing resources to the businesses in their community. Chamber memberships will vary depending on which level you come in at, but even at the basic membership, you can usually join your local Chamber of Commerce for less than $400, and that's for a yearly membership. Now, when you do join, they will put your business name on their online directory, and then also provide you with additional advertising opportunities in the local community. For example, Chamber members may be given the opportunity to advertise in what they call newcomer packets. Now, newcomer packets are sent out to people who have requested more information about the community, either because they plan to move there or because they have just recently relocated. So chambers sometimes provide their members opportunities to put a flyer or even maybe brochures into these packets, whether they're sent out by mail or digitally. Additionally, they sometimes provide chamber members with opportunities to bring their business cards or brochures to the visitor center to display. Now, visitor centers are typically attached to local chambers because they're areas where people will drop in and just get more information about the community while they're visiting. Another option that sometimes they provide to chamber members is to advertise in the weekly or monthly newsletter that gets sent out to the membership. So these are all really great options. One of the biggest draws though to joining your local chamber of commerce are still gonna be the networking events. Now in COVID times, these may be done virtually, but they are still great opportunities for you to get out there and meet other business owners in the area or just other representatives from the local 
local organizations and promote your business. Now, these events are also always sponsored, which means you can actually sponsor a business after hours. When you do sponsor one of the events, they do provide you a little bit of speaking time. So you have a captive audience that you can promote your business to and verbally just tell them more about your history, your products and services, and really what you do as an organization. Budget-friendly option number three, schools. Schools are always looking for community partners. Now, there are two options that I would really focus on here. First and foremost, I would go ask if there are any community partnership programs or initiatives that they have in place. Typically, a school will allow you to do a $500 or $1,000 sponsorship to be listed as one of their community partners. Now, what they'll do as a benefit is to actually list your business on a board somewhere at the front of the school or at the entrance so that all of the school visitors know that you are a community partner to that school. So it's a pretty good trade-off. The second option I would look at is consider sponsoring one of their athletic programs. Now whether that's basketball, baseball, cheerleading, wrestling, even dance teams, these sponsorships come with an ad in their yearly program. So you'll have ad space in the program that they print off and give to the attendees for that first uh, football game or whenever they distribute them. Additionally, some of these sponsorships will also give you a banner that they will display either in the gym or let's say on the football field. And this is really great because for all of the parents and families that come out to support these young athletes, they actually get to see your business. Now, some of the higher level sponsorships give you mentions over the PA program. So if you go to an, a football game and you hear them calling out the jersey numbers and talking Talking about the plays, they'll also during intermission at halftime go through and promote some of these businesses that are some of the bigger sponsors for the athletic program. So it's a really great initiative that you may want to look into. You don't necessarily have to go with the big sponsorship package, even the smaller packages for like $500 are well worth the investment. Budget-friendly option number four, local supermarkets. There are two advertising opportunities that I would consider if I'm looking at advertising in my local supermarket. First, if your supermarket has a pharmacy attached to it or an in-house pharmacy, they typically use a third-party vendor to look for advertisers on their pharmacy bag. So think about it, when you go in and pick up your prescription, they'll give it to you in a bag that has ad space or is promoting a couple of different businesses. You have the chance to put your ad on that bag. These ads are usually done in quarterly contracts, but you can also secure like a year long contract if that's something that you're interested in. They're inexpensive and definitely well worth it if you're looking to target a specific geographic area. Another consideration for advertising at your local supermarket are the actual supermarket buggies themselves. So if you've gone to the supermarket recently, you'll notice that there are two spaces where they put ads. One of them is near the handles up here at the top, and then the other one is in the basket area. So they are always looking for people that want to be promoting their business. Um, that's additional revenue for the supermarket as well. And it's usually done through the same third party vendor that does the ad space for their pharmacy bags. So if you're interested in doing that, I would just ask one of your representatives in your local supermarket for more information. Budget-friendly option number five, military bases. Lastly, if you live near a Navy, Air Force, Army, or military base, consider advertising in their community newspaper. These bases have individual newspapers that are locally done and they provide advertising opportunities for businesses in that area. Sometimes they may be printed and other times they may be digital or sometimes they are both printed and digital. Or consider going on their website and looking for their event sponsorship 
leadership coordinator. These military bases are always looking for ways to connect their military families to the civilian community. They want to be sure that everybody knows what is out there as far as surrounding businesses, and they're always looking to develop and strengthen those relationships with the civilian community. So when they have these events on the bases, they'll allow businesses to come in and sponsor them at times. Now, they're very stringent as far as getting on the base and whatnot, but these sponsorship opportunities are a great way for you to get out in front of potential customers. All right, so I hope that in sharing these five budget-friendly ideas for advertising your business, it's just reminded you that sometimes we can get really effective advertising and marketing for our business without having to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on a television ad or a billboard. Some of these smaller opportunities, even though they are hyper-targeted, are really great because the return on investment is good. If you like this video, remember that every Monday I release a new video with information that could help you market and grow your business. Don't forget that I also have a website at www.theseasonmarketer.com where I have a couple freebies for you to download and all of the rest of my videos. So definitely take the time to peruse that video library. Thanks again for tuning into another Monday Marketing Minute. I'll catch you guys next week, same time and place.